The world want to see it. I mean, he just lost to Bevo. You want to tune up? <laughs> you want to tune up? What's up? It's your boy Remus. Welcome back to Remus Boxing News, where we cover the latest trending topics in the boxing world today. Today, we're speaking about the Charlo twins, and in particular, we're more focused on Jamal Charlo. He has a defense of his WBC middleweight, 160 pound title against Selecki. And, um, you know, he's fresh. He's been questioned repeatedly by interviewers and reporters over the poten potential of big fights happening for him because he hasn't really had a string of, you know, defenses or anything against big name fighters in the way that we would expect him, you know, to be in big fights. So he's been questioned over that and he does seem to be a little bit frustrated at not being able to get in there uh, with the biggest fighters out there, especially when you consider that there are credible names in and around his weight class. But um, the fight that he has his highest hopes on, I guess you could say, is a fight with Canelo. Which, who, who else is a, who else is a bigger fight out there? I mean, Canelo is like, if I could challenge myself against somebody like Canelo, no matter what, I go down in history and, you know, it's, and he know for sure that's going to be a way tougher fight than he think it is. It's a big fight for Canelo. Yeah. Uh, he, he can't overlook it. I mean, he can't just say, like, there's nothing going on for it. It's a big fight for Canelo. And uh, him fighting me, the world want to see it. And I'm down to, to see it. Or then I have to blow my chances fighting a David Benavidez guy. But he ain't nothing either. So it's interesting. He makes a mention of David Benavidez because, you know, Canelo was offered $50 million to fight Charlo. And, um... He actually, you know, didn't really care. He turned it down because he felt that he wants to see Charlo fight Benavidez and he'll fight or consider fighting the winner of those two because of those two because he doesn't feel that they have much to offer. Funnily, funnily enough, uh, Charlo doesn't really feel that Benavidez has much to offer. So he's not really too excited about that fight. But he did say it's not a hard fight to make because I think they have uh, similar advisors and, you know, similar team people. So... That's a potential fight that could happen, but he still is of the mindset of, look, why do you even need me to face those guys? Why don't you just face me? Well, I could, you know, put it all on the line rather than fighting Benavidez, who has nothing to offer and all this, but I still fight his ass. You know what I'm saying? I use him as a stepping stone to get to Canelo if that's what they want me to do, but they not setting that up. Why you want somebody else to fight me? Why you want to fight me? I'm 32, you 32. I mean... I was at 154, Canelo was at 154. I had a belt, he had a belt, he didn't fight me. What I gotta do, keep chasing him with my legacy? Canelo saying that I got nothing to offer him, the, all, the, the world wanna see it. That definitely is a fight I wouldn't actually mind seeing. Um, a fight that I would be surprised to see is perhaps, uh, you know, Crawford versus one of the Charlo twins. Now, in a surprise, I guess you could say, him and his, his brother have been going back and forth with Crawford. Crawford mentioned that he's going to finish off Errol Spence. After he finishes off Errol Spence, he says it like it's just like light work, right? Um, after he does that, then he's going to come for uh, Jamel Charlo. But um, uh, Jamal, his, his brother, said, look, Crawford, you're too small. Don't worry about that. And I told Bud to his, himself, he's too small. Bud got a lot more to worry about than, than Jamel. I'm pretty sure my brother entertained the fact uh, Bud Crawford want to fight him, but it is what it is. Jamal actually made a mention saying, look, I'll come down to 154 if I've got to shut this guy up and then you can move up because, you know, Crawford was apparently plan planning to move up anyway. So he said, look, I'll come up, I'll come down and then you come up and we'll meet in the middle if I have to shut you up. And then in response, Terrence Crawford on Twitter said, look, you coming down to fight me at 154. Uh, bro, I know you would. I believe you too, but your brother's still a pussy. So, uh, you know, he's talking about his brother there. And in response, I, you know, I, I think these guys are definitely open to entertaining the idea of something like that, particularly Jamel, because uh, Jamel, Jamel's gotten at Terrence before. These lot have already been going at it. They wouldn't say that. Would that be something? Who, who's that? Triple G? Triple G at 160? Nah, no, Triple G at uh, 168. You want that? You want that Charlo? I'm going to 160. Whoever. Mungia. So, so, so you, you, you think I'm playing? I'm going to 160. How about he do his best and go fight Earl Spence then? Shut up. 
take a little bit less money, be quiet, humble yourself, and fight Earl Spence, your stud. He think he too high up on the horse. You ain't even worth shit to me, for real. You got Ennis. You got Thurman. You got people making a name for themselves in your own way division. Sit your ass in your way division and see if you can beat one of them. Come fucking with me, you gonna get knocked the fuck out. I'm gonna knock out all this, baby. <laughs> Jamal is always up for it. I love it. Um, but anyway, back to Jamal. Uh, do you think he's being ducked by some of these guys at the top and... You know, do you think that he can compete at the top level once he gets that chance? So I want to know what you think, right? So comment down below, let Remus know, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.